Hello, my name is Abby Bennett and I am the Nurse Residency Program Manager here at CVPH. I want to first congratulate you on graduation as well as accepting a graduate nurse position here at our organization. This past year has certainly been filled with unprecedented circumstances for our healthcare systems. And as things start to look and feel a little bit differently, I wanted to give you a brief view into your year ahead here at CVPH. Our nurse residency program started in 2013. Since then, we have had cohorts ranging in size from 22 GNs to 53. The program has evolved over the years based on nurse resident feedback, so it looks a little different each year. We are extremely proud that our program was accredited by the ANCC in October of 2018. We were the 59th accredited program in the United States, the second in New York State, and the first program in upstate New York. The goals of the nurse residency program are to assist you in your transition to practice, help build your competence and confidence, provide ongoing support, assist in your professional development, and increase RN understanding of healthcare reform, success measures, and patient outcomes. This is the clinical education team. You'll be spending a lot of time with them over the coming days, weeks, and months. They'll be helping you out with orientation, competencies, and education throughout your time here and help you keep track of your goals through monthly check-ins. You will begin your new employee orientation, or as we call it, NEO, with Karen Phillips, Sean Adara, as well as assistance from the CEM team. NEO will run from Thursday to Thursday, focusing on hospital policies, clinical skills and competencies, communication, delegation, as well as patient-centered simulations. These simulations allow you to combine your previous knowledge with the newly learned policies and put them into practice. During this time, you will also receive your orientation schedule and your preceptor assignment for when you start your unit-based orientation. Unit orientation begins following NEO, we try our best to place you with the same preceptor for the duration of your unit-based orientation. However, this is not always possible. Our preceptors are trained through our new preceptor preparation course, which started in June of 2020. Many of our inpatient units have subspecialties, which allow for additional training. For example, R7 has a gerontology-based program called NICHE. Throughout your first year, you will attend seven nurse residency sessions. The first one will be just a few weeks after your hire date, with the second one two to three weeks to follow. After the first two sessions, they will be held every other month, ending in June or July of 2021. Each session will cover a wide range of topics and skills like professional development and growth, evidence-based practice, and transformational leadership to help you accomplish your goals. I will be out on maternity leave come September. During my absence, the nurse residency sessions will continue and will be hosted by the CEM team as well as guest presenters. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me with any questions you may have about the program. The best way to contact myself and the CEM team is through our shared email account, which is cvphnurseresidency at cvph.org. I look forward to meeting each of you. Welcome to CVPH and welcome to your career in nursing.